I think one of the foundational things we've learned for the pandemic was that surprises are going to happen. One of the problems that we had is simply not enough uh, capacity to be able to manufacture these mRNA vaccines. As an industry, we need to be better prepared for these surprises. That includes uh, making sure that your capacity is flexible enough to change it for different drugs or different modalities. One of the challenges for mRNA previously was around just proving uh, concept and showing efficacy in, in clinical trials. So we've just gone through the largest clinical trial that will hopefully ever occur. Um, so the, the, the actual proof of concept and the technology is now there. That really allows most companies and most investors to say, okay, now's the time to build capacity. Part of the problem is that there's not one aligned process uh, for production of these. At a high level, you've got a production step, a formulation step, and a fill step, but there's so much subtext and nuances to each one of those that it's really hard for a company to hone in on exactly what they're going to build. The critical issue with waiting to build that capacity is that you've already missed out probably on several years of innovative drugs being on the market. It's uh, really important to us um, to build uh, capacity ahead of the demand. Um, if you're building it at the time, it's, it's too late. When Aranta built our flagship facility here, we recognized that there was a significant unmet need for not only mRNA vaccine capacity to support the COVID pandemic, but also future pandemics and other vaccine opportunities. If you think about the complexity associated with that, you have, you know, let's say there's five different steps, five different unit operations to make an mRNA product. You think about that's five different CDMOs, five different geographies, multiple project teams that you're, you're dealing with. These um, are really difficult to source. We felt with the flexibility we had here that we could basically construct that entire supply chain in a single facility, remove some of that white space for innovators, accelerate their timelines and ultimately try to get um, medicine to patients faster. So if I think about a, a year to do that type of thing in the, in the past here, we could potentially have a sterile drug product 90 days later or less. In our partnership with Cytiva, what was critically important was the alignment of our core mission. Uh, it's clear uh, they're looking to support today's mRNA technology, uh, tomorrow's mRNA technology. That aligns perfectly with what Aranta is trying to do as a company as well. Those relationships were forged in the height of the pandemic. Uh, it behooves us to make sure that those relationships are forged uh, long before any um, sort of event like this in the future. You know, the United States is in a, a really fortunate position. A, a, a lot of the world's uh, biologics manufacturing capacity is here. As you're seeing right now, what happens in one part of the world eventually impacts the United States. So I think it's obviously incumbent on the industry and here to find ways to help the rest of the world. Being close to the patient is a bit harder when you're talking about diseases like COVID-19 that affect billions of people. So I think what drives a lot of our employees here is that the faces are their own. They're creating a medicine that could get injected into their mother or their child. Making something that is going to be in your own home is wonderfully satisfying.